Hi everyone! Today we're going to do a recipe from the Red Wall Cookbook for my very special youngest fan, Marilyn. And today we are going to bake savory squirrel bakes! Yay! First thing you need to do is make mashed potatoes, which means you gotta peel these and boil these. Now, if any of you badgers, mouses, ferrets, or rats have never made mashed potatoes before, you're gonna let these sit for 20 minutes. Or until fork tender. This is a great time, if you are a mommy, to pour yourself a glass of mommy juice. While those potatoes are mashing, time to read a little bit of Redwall. It's really cute. In this book, they have little passages so you know exactly where the recipes come from. Constance licked her apron dreamily. A favorite from my young days, though we called it boulders in a marsh. Strange how dibbons like food have dreadful sounding names. Do you remember fried frogs and wiki roots? Hugo clapped a paw to his brow. Don't remind me. Pansy giggled. Where were fried frogs and ricky roots? Constance shook her head. Oh, I wouldn't even begin to tell you. Oh, this looks nice, Pansy. What is it? Pansy breathed proudly. Savory squirrel bakes. The recipe goes right back to a squirrel queen named Lady Amber. Fire and Hugo cut two thin slices. I see you've done your research too. That's important, Pansy. We must never forget where and how good food was made. And who first made it? Hmm, couldn't have baked it better myself. Tell Constance how you produced it, please. Almost forgot to show you the picture. That's the most important part in reading, right? Here's the picture. So cute. Now that we've read a little story, I think we should cut up the chives before those potatoes are done a boiling. Chives, chives, chive, chive, to chive, chive, chives, to chive, chives. Can anyone guess who I'm cosplaying as today? From Redwall, one of my favorite mouses, Cornflower. Now that these are done boiling, Preheat the oven to 375, not 380. Now you need to beat these potatoes with your chives, pepper, salt, and cheese. And of course, have a sip of your mommy juice. Did I forget to mention butter? Now the directions say, if once you've mixed that all up, if the dough, mashed potatoes, are too <laughs> loose, like they're not forming a dough, which I'm pretty sure mine are pretty thick, then you should add a couple teaspoons of flour to firm it up, because we're going to roll them into logs. I'm going to divert from the directions, which is pretty stereotypical of my show if you've watched it before. And because the whole point is they want you to make it in logs, cut, you know, I think one inch, two inches, and then roll those into little balls. So I'm just gonna skip that stuff and roll them into balls. Before you start rolling these into balls, go ahead, beat your egg, and get your breadcrumbs ready because essentially you're gonna coat those potato balls in breadcrumbs before they go into the oven. And make sure to take off your rings. This is gonna get messy. Now you bake these puppies for 20 minutes or until golden brown. They are a 
not a oven. I think maybe I should have added a little bit of flour because some of them had some black moments. Okay, time to try some savory squirrel bites. Or bake? It's bake. This is my first recipe ever that I've made from the Red Wall cookbook. And to be totally honest with you, I never read them as a child. But I did get this book during quarantine or this pandemic. <laughs> and I just started reading it and I love it. I wish I would have read it as a kid, but as a kid and even to this day, I have a little weird thing about animals talking, which is strange because I'm a huge geek in general. <laughs> All right, let's try this delicious little eggy squirrel bite thing. <laughs> Here we go. It's so good. It's like a mac and cheese fried bite, but with mashed potatoes. I know on the show, if you've been watching for a while, you know I love brie cheese. I love it so much. I put this on par with brie cheese. On par. Cheers. Everyone should get this, this is amazing. Why have I lived my whole life without making this before? Squirrels obviously know where it's at. If you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really does mean so much to me. Until next week, cheers! <laughs> that was our cups cheering.